Hello everyone and welcome to class of AWS Management Console. Today in this class we are going to discuss about security, identity and compliance. So in AWS Management Console, under security, identity and compliance, we have IAM which is identity and access management, inspector, certificate manager, directory service, WAF and shield, compliance reports. So let's discuss about what security, identity and compliance is. For any service, security it is at highest priority. So in AWS, what we require, we require cloud security at highest priority. So that means a customer or an AWS customer will benefit from a data center and network architecture which is built to meet all security sensitive organizations or all security features. Amazon Web Services provides us a platform so that we can scale and we can innovate while maintaining a secure environment. So services which can help organizations so that they can secure their data and system on the cloud. So for this we have various services. The very first is IAM which is Identity and Access Management. With the help of IAM, we can securely control access to AWS services and resources of their users. Using IAM, we can create and manage AWS users and groups as well as, well as we can use various permissions to allow or deny their access to various resources. So identity and access management basically allow us or uses permission so that we can allow to use the resources or it can deny their access to various resources. Next we have inspector. Amazon inspector, it includes a knowledge base of hundreds of rules. It includes a knowledge base of hundreds of rules which are mapped to a common security best practices. That means rules are managed or rules are mapped on a security best practices definitions. It is automated security assessment service. That means we can see that inspector is an assessment service that can help to improve the security and compliance of various applications. So we can meet the security requirement as well as compliance of various applications. Those are deployed on Amazon Web Services. It also produces a detailed list of security finding. That means a detailed list of various security services which are prioritized by the level of security. Suppose we have some built-in rules which includes checking for remote root login being enabled or not. We have some software version installed or not. These rules are regularly updated by AWS security researchers. We have AWS security researchers, those who build some rules according to the security features. So inspector is an assessment service that checks those rules that they are working properly and the security is always prioritized by the level of security, level one, level two, and so on up to. This is the function of inspector in security, identity, and compliance. Next, we have certificate manager. In what certificate manager is? Certificate manager is again a service. Now, it provides easy provision it manage and it deploy SSL and TSL, TLS certificates. SSL is secure sockets layer, whereas TLS is transport layer security. So we have these certificates of security. So certificate manager will check or it provides easy provision of these certificates 
so that we can use these certificates on AWS services. So certificate manager, it removes the time consuming manual process of purchasing, uploading and renewing SSL TLS certificates. With AWS certificate manager, we can quickly request a certificate. We can deploy it on AWS resources. Now what are the AWS resources? Like we have Elastic Load Balancer, Amazon CloudFront distributions and APIs on API Gateway. It let AWS Certificate manage, Manager to handle various certificate renewals. SSL TLS certificates provisioned through AWS Certificate Manager are free. We have to pay only for AWS resources that we create for our application. So Certificate Manager is basically a service that manage the complete SSL and TLS certificates. It is used to request a certificate, deploy it on the resources and handle various renewals. This is the function of certificate manager. Next we have directory service. AWS directory service, which is Amazon Web Service directory service which is basically for Microsoft Active Directory. This is also known as AWS Microsoft Active Directory. It enables directory aware workloads and resources which are to be used for managed Active Directory in cloud. Microsoft Active Directory service is built on actual Microsoft Active Directory and it do not require you to synchronize or replicate data from existing Active Directory to the cloud. Now we can use our standard Active, Active Directory administration tools and we can take features like group policy, trust and single sign on. With Microsoft Active Directory, we can easily join Amazon EC2 and Amazon RDS on SQL Server. We can use AWS Enterprise IT applications such as Amazon Workspaces with Active Directory users and groups. That means a user can use standard Active Directory administration tools and they can take the advantage of that Active Directory features now, what are the features again? Group policy, trust and single sign on features. So that's why it is called as AWS Active Directory Server because it already run on Microsoft Active Directory. Next, we have AWS WAF and Shield. WAF stands for Web Application Firewall. As it is a firewall, that means it helps to protect web applications from web exploits. That means that could, that could affect our application. Availability, compliance, security or consume excessive resources. Now, AWS Shield, it is DDoS. That means Distributed Denial of Service Protection Service. As it is a shield, that means it will do the function of safeguarding us. The same shield, it safeguards web applications running on Amazon Web Services. Basically, it is distributed denial of service protection service that helps us to safeguard our web application in AWS. Next, we have Compliance Reports Amazon Web Services Cloud Compliance It enables customers to understand the control in AWS so that we can maintain security and data protection in the cloud. Compliance Reports enables various customers to understand the controls so that we can maintain security and data protection in the cloud. It can help you establish and operate 
AWS Security Control Environment Features. Now why tying together governance focused audit friendly security features with applicable security appliances and various standards that means AWS compliance enablers built on various programs. It helps customers to establish and operate in AWS security control environment. That means with the help of these reports, we can enable our customer to understand the various controls so that they can maintain security and data protection in the cloud. This is compliant reports. Now, as in security, identity and compliance that we had discussed in Amazon Web Services, under Management Console, this, these are the services under security, identity and compliance that we had discussed. Thank you so much.